got my headphones on so you can actually hear me so I can talk like a normal human being. Um, all right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whenever you're watching this. It's Dave again. I'm gonna cover the Giant Revolt 2020 and uh, kind of go from there. The Giant 2020 Revolt, this is the three. It's in the navy blue colorway. It's got a white border, which you don't see online, by the way, uh, with the gold lettering. I'll show you the, the white. You can see it on the frame there. You can see it on the fork. Um, you do not see that when you look at the bike uh, online. Uh, it was a nice surprise, actually. It makes the bike kind of pop. Now, I got it in, I'll go over here, uh, take the bottle out. So you can see it's a medium, it's a three, um, <clears throat> I'm 5'10", 5'11", on a good day, and about 148 pounds fighting weight, and about walking 152, 155, depending on what I ate and drank that day. Um, so the bike itself comes with a two-by, and um, it's Shimano Tiagra. I don't know if the glare, you can see that. It's Tiagra, um, and you can see the, you know, I'm going to count them for you. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So it's not even 12 speed. Um, it has obviously disc brakes. Um, it's got the giant cross cut uh, tires, um, 38 millimeter uh, tubeless. Um, the, the wheel set is the SX2. Um, and so far, no issues with the cross cut tires are great. Um, the tubeless is obviously great. The wheel set is great. No crazy flex, no crazy noises or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> comes with the FSA chain ring. It's a 48 by 32. Um, obviously, I added my speed play pedals to that. Um, and that's one of the things that I added to the bike. Obviously, you got to add pedals to ride. Um, the cockpit here. So there again, it's the Tiagra shifters. I'll get to this part here in a second. Um, I don't know if you can see the flare of the bars really. It's a slight flare. Um, and I would say <clears throat> it's great. These, these bars here are flat. They're not super wide, but they're flat. Um, nice resting spot for your hand. Um, it's a little bit of a more, more upright position. I'll take the computer off so you can see what I'm going to talk about here. Um, so the Roadrunner bag, obviously I added to it. The saddle, I'll get to that in a second, I added in my pedals. That's the only thing that I've changed on the bike. Uh, so the bag is just an add-on just to carry my stuff. Um, and the saddle was for comfort reasons, but I'll address that in a second. So um, the handlebars, they're flared. I uh, probably see how they are there a little bit, but they, they're super comfortable. Um, in conjunction with the stem and the seat post, uh, supposedly to add a lot of comfort to the bike. I have to say that I do find this bike to be exceptionally comfortable. Um, the saddle came with the giant contact. This is uh, the, the Cambium, the Brooks Cambium C19. There is a flex to it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's absolutely a flex to the saddle. It's vulcanized rubber, super comfortable. Um, and comfort is the name of the game. Uh, when it comes to gravel bikes because the distances that we travel, right? Um, so it is a specific geometry for gravel as well. Um, and I am super comfortable. Uh, the shop itself uh, just took my measurements and set my bike up as it normally would and no issues. Um, so the saddle was a, was a point of uh, contention for me in discomfort. Anything 50 miles and under, I had no problem. Um, as soon as it went up above 50, hot spots galore. Um, and I did a, a I guess a, what you call a simulation ride for Dirty Kanza, did 103 miles. By mile 70, I wanted to throw uh, the saddle into the Everglades uh, to never see it again. Um, so, you know, saddle is obviously a personal choice, but I have wider sit bones, and this saddle just happens to work really well for me. Um, the seat post itself, <clears throat> So it's shaped like a D. I think they call it the D fuse. I don't know if it's coming across, but you can see it's pretty wide there. Um, but it is shaped like a D. So it's round on the front, flat on the back. Um, it is super comfortable. And the handlebars kind of mirror that as well. Um, the bike itself has three 
water bottle cages, two here, and then another one. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, um, but it also has this nice frame protection guard here as well. Um, the bike is super well thought out. Um, I have absolutely zero issues with it. This here is Giant's kind of conversion uh, for the brakes. Um, I hated it at first. Um, I was like, it's ugly. I don't understand why it's here. Why didn't they just do straight up? And um, they didn't. And now I'm super happy because it gives me an extra hand position. And obviously it's got a computer mount. And uh, I actually like having it there now. <laughs> so, um, but I just figured, you know, underneath you can actually add, um, you can't see it, but underneath here, uh, maybe you can see it. I don't think you can. Um, right here, you can actually add a spot for your lights or, um, you know, like a GoPro camera. So it's actually really well thought out. Um, so no complaints there. I, at first I hate it, but now I love it. Um, and uh, I don't know, the bike feels pretty quick. Um, you know, tire pressure wise, today I'm at like 30 PSI. Um, it's, it's very hard to get used to um, this type of setup, to be honest with you, running such a low tire pressure, um, but the comfort really shines through. Um, now, do I think this bike is a, a buy, a try, or a why? stealing from the ginger runner and it's a hundred percent buy um that's i a hundred percent think this is a buy um so yeah if you get a bike you know uh have fun be safe definitely ride gravel it's definitely uh the rage and it's definitely safer so i don't know if this is a female or a male but pretty handsome Side profile. Look at that. Florida local. Great, right? And if you're cruising at like 20 miles an hour, you might even miss that, you know? Awesome to see though. But they're everywhere, man. Like, it's cold out. It's like 50 degrees today. No sun, and, and then there's the canal. Just hanging out. Very cool to see. I like seeing stuff like this. I prefer to see the black bears in New Jersey, but this is still kind of cool too.